Let's get started. Today I'm going to show you how to use our brand new name management tool. First things first, go to our trek.texas.gov website and log in using your username and password. This is the same username and password that you use to renew your license or apply for a new license. Um, you're going to log in and be brought to the quick start menu of our online services. Here you can see we have a notice saying it's time to renew or to change your license information or manage your sponsorship. Select which license you'd like to update, keeping in mind that the names can only be managed for broker business entity licenses as well as individual broker licenses. Here I have an LLC, so I'm going to click on the drop down menu and select name management tool then click select. Now I'm going to be brought to our brand new name management tool. Here, check to make sure that you're managing the correct license number. First thing you'll notice is we have a list of names available. These are all the names that we have currently on file here at Trek for your license. You can sort, filter, and add names from this box. You can also edit a name by typing and updating the name or you can delete a name. You can see that it's now crossed out. We have icons for each name type. DBAs is a little building, team is a group, and alternate names is an ID card. We also have a trash, trash can on this list, so you can delete a name if you'd like. Here in the middle, we have all the name types as well as our definitions for what each name is. This will help you when you're trying to figure out how to label each of your names in your list. And over here, we have our buckets. This is this same list, but shown categorized so that it gives you a better visual when you're trying to organize all of your names. In order to add a new name, you're going to click Add Name and then select either a DBA or a team. In this case, I'm going to add a team. I'm going to type in my team keeping in mind that teams need to end in team or group. Click add name, and now you can see over here, my team has been added to the list. In addition, in these bu buckets over here, you're gonna see that we have a little red pin next to it showing pending, as well as the, the name that I earlier deleted showing pending. You can also recategorize names that are already here. So for example, this John Snow Property Management Group. Let's say I'd like to recategorize that first by selecting DBA. And then you're gonna be asked questions to verify whether or not you can actually make this a DBA. And I'm gonna click select. And then now it is moved over to a DBA from a group, from a team name. And you can see that's been moved as well over here. Once you're done making all of your changes, you're gonna click confirm changes and certify that you have legal authority to use the name and that all the names listed here are correct. Click I agree and then submit changes and you'll be brought to our summary page. Here you'll see each type of transaction, the name, and that it's been completed. We highly recommend that you go ahead and print this page for your records as you will not get an email showing a confirmation. So it's best to make sure that you have a record of it just in case something comes up. After you're done, click close and you'll be brought back to the home page of the quick start menu. And that's it.